Thank you all for joining us today on this truly historic occasion, ASCA's inaugural Forget-Me-Not Day. It's a day on which ASCA is bringing the legacy of childhood abuse out into the light. It is a day on which adult survivors are reaching out to the broader community and seeking their support as they courageously work to cast off the shame and stigma of their childhood abuse. The knot in forget-me-not symbolises the tangle of child abuse, which in most cases is a lifelong challenge for adults to unravel. For most survivors, untangling that knot is a solitary, confusing and complex task. Some do not make it through. People forget that abused children grow up, and the impact of that abuse does not stop when the abuse stops. The human brain continues to develop until a person's in their 20s. And so when a child is abused in that crucial developmental period, it has profound impacts, arresting emotional development and affecting one's inability to make healthy and empowering choices. When children are abused, they become confused. And life, even as an adult, is tangled and chaotic. It is not simply a question of just getting over it. While some survivors do live healthy and integrated lives, many struggle day to day just to do those things that others take for granted. Many stay isolated in the pain and trauma of their abuse, which overwhelms them long after the abuse has stopped. They struggle with a sense of low self-esteem, with a sense of their own worth and value. The good news, however, is that with the right help and support, adult survivors can go on to live healthy, constructive and engaged lives. Through its programs, ASCA works to empower survivors so that they learn to nurture and self-care and develop healthy supporting networks. ASCA is currently delivering life-affirming workshops around the country and we call them creative, Creating New Possibility Workshops because that's exactly what they do. Uh, the feedback we've had from these workshops has been astounding. And I'd just like to quote one recent attendee at our workshops. Thank goodness something is finally being done. I've carried this si since preschool years, more than 70 years. And that story is not unusual. Next Monday, our Prime Minister will be delivering a national apology to 500,000 forgotten Australians and 7,000 child migrants who suffered unconscionable brutality, abuse and deprivation in institutionalised care. This apology is long overdue, but must be followed by appropriate reparation and redress. This group of Australians sits alongside another group, a larger group, who has also been long forgotten, and that's the two million adult survivors of child abuse. The majority of these adult survivors have been abused in their homes, in, in their families, and by the very people who were meant to protect and nurture them. Until now, their needs have been long ignored by the Australian community and by successive governments. The suffering of individuals affected by child abuse is painfully obvious. However, ignoring this issue comes at a substantial economic and societal cost. Adult survivors are more times, are four times more likely to be unhappy, even in old age. Two and a half times more likely to suffer poor mental health outcomes. To suffer physical illness, low self-esteem, substance abuse, homelessness, welfare dependency, suicide. The list goes on and there are statistics everywhere. From the economic point of view, there was a study last year done by the Australian Childhood Foundation which looked at the cost of survivors who were abused for the first time in 2007 and projected the cost of that abuse over a lifetime and it was estimated to be close to $40 billion. Society finds the trauma of child abuse difficult to comprehend. As a result, these issues have long been ignored with the shame and the stigma around the topic silencing child and adult victims and preventing them from getting the help and support they need. The greater the community awareness, the greater the support mustered 
and the easier it will be to break the taboo around the legacy of child abuse. Through Forget Me Not Day, ASCA is reaching out to the broader community so all Australians can work together to untangle that knot. Now before introducing Minister Mark Abib, I'd like to recite a stanza from a poem entitled Innocent Stolen. And this poem was written by an ASCA member, a bush poet from Western Australia called Corin Lynch. I have struggled through my days trying not to show my pain. I would refuse to reveal my, reveal my thoughts as I put up the wall again. But now I'm beginning to learn that I don't need to feel any shame. There's no reason for me to bang my head. I was not the one to blame. Earlier this year, ASCA was buoyed by the short-term funding we received from the federal government in recognition of our Creating New Possibility workshops and the consistently unmet needs of survivors. This Forget Me Not Day, as ASCA calls on all Australians to help us support the needs of survivors, we are actively calling on the government to provide substantial ongoing funding commensurate with the unmet need so adults can live truly healthy, uh, integrated lives. The cost of inaction is a national shame. We're delighted to have Minister Abib today, uh, here today. His presence is testament not only to his commitment, but to his government's support of ASCA's work and the needs of adult survivors. The Minister was elected to the Senate in 2007, appointed Parliamentary Secretary for Government Service Delivery in 2009, and now holds the positions of Minister for Employment Participation and Minister Assisting the Prime Minister on Government Service Delivery. ASCA first met Senator, Senator Albion when he was co-convener of PACAN, a bipartisan parliamentary committee against child abuse and neglect. He no longer holds that role, but continues his proactive support to ASCA and Australian adults surviving child abuse. Please join me in welcoming the Minister here today.